Plus and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now in terms of the performance, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 650 GPU, and 8 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 12 Pro Max has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. And what I can tell you is with the Galaxy S20 Plus, I feel like this phone's performance is extremely good. You know what I mean? Like, it'll definitely take you to point A to point B, as I always say, and it'll even take you to point Z. I mean, this phone's capability is extremely 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 strong i do kind of wish they had a higher ram option but i still think 8 gigs of ram is perfectly fine but with its you know built-in storage only 128 gigs but you also have the micro sd card slot which is awesome so you can expand it how much you want to the iphone 12 pro max taps out at 512 no expandable storage but i think the iphone 12 pro max's performance is extremely smooth and i think it's smoother than the galaxy s20 plus's performance i've said this time and time again but that's kind of what i see with the iphone side they're always a smoother experience even though the galaxy Galaxy S20 Plus and the Galaxy side of that year are typically the more, you know, faster experience. So take of that what you will. Basically, with the Galaxy S20 Plus, if you load up a big intensive game, most probably it'll go ahead and load up that game faster and it may even be able to play that game faster than the 12 pro max but with the 12 pro max daily things you know like opening up apps and you know responding things and all that stuff throughout the ui it's going to be a smoother experience on the iphone 12 pro max so if you're somebody who values you know more smoothness rather than just you know rapid fastness and you know skipped frames and all that stuff then that's typically what you're going to see in my opinion the difference is that's kind of what i've seen throughout my life especially the small things like you know like getting notifications on the galaxy s20 plus and responding and hopping out and going to a different app it's just not as smooth on the galaxy s20 plus with the iphone side with the 12 pro max it's a much smoother experience so that is definitely something to keep in mind i don't think it'd be a deal breaker per se but that is something i would keep in mind for sure so in terms of performance that's kind of how i would sum it up the 12 pro max is the smoother phone but the galaxy s20 plus is the faster phone when it comes down to it